just uh, talked yesterday, but um, about the entire room, how, how do you feel like you're just gelling with the guys, not from a football standpoint, but like getting to know them, right? Like you got, you joined the team kind of, you know, randomly. It's like, all right, now you got to play. So what's it been like just getting to know them? Funny, we are. We, be, we go out every Thursday uh, to dinner, whether it's at somebody's house or we just go out to eat at a restaurant. So I kind of, I feel like that kind of helped with just talking outside of football and building a personal relationship. Being uh, in the locker room, all our lockers next to each other. So, uh, you know, I just, you know, talk to whoever, you know, by me. Uh, and, I mean, that them little conversations in the locker room, that helped. And then, uh, you know, as the football go, I mean, we hold each other accountable to a, to a standard, to a certain standard uh, in a room. So, I mean, building a, building them personal relationships and having no many talks uh, and no conversations when we go hang out with each other, hang out outside of football, you know, that helps you respect it more when, you know, a person that you respect as a person uh, holds you accountable on the field. Nate? Hey, Sam. Uh, yesterday after you guys uh, gave up that touchdown on, on third and 19, it seemed like a real shift in, in just how you guys shut them down kind of from then on out. Like, what, what do you feel like was the change there? What, what do you guys, would you guys kind of tap into that lets you finish that game out and get the win? Uh, it was really just coming back to the sideline and uh, both of the touchdowns that we gave up was just because we just, you know, didn't execute and finish it and do our job. So uh, we knew what, we just came back to the sideline and just, you know, just said like for the rest of the game, Whatever opportunities we get, just finish. Like that's all we have to do. Cause and we was getting, we was winning first and second down for the most part. We just have to finish. And I mean, that's kind of how it's been all season. We get teams to third time, third down, and don't finish on third down. And then now they extend the drives. So uh, we just came back to the to the sideline and just said finish. We just kept each other up. I mean, people are already, you know, if they had a misfit or whatever, they already came back. And showed humility and uh, came back to the sideline and just like, oh, it's my fault. I'm gonna be better, whatever. That was already accountable for themselves. So, I mean, once you see that out of a, out of a person uh, and out of multiple people who ever mess up, uh, that just respect you. I mean, that just make you respect them and just want you to keep going harder. And you know, uh, so nobody just never got down on each other. We just stayed together. Jake. Hey, Samuel. Uh, so yesterday after the, the game, Titans receivers appeared to be pretty frustrated when, when they were speaking afterwards. In a situation like that, like during the game, can you tell when that frustration is building or, or even you as as a defensive back that's kind of getting under their skin? Uh, yeah, I mean, it just be many, it'd be many stuff, many conversations that you may hear uh, on the field that only the players on the field can hear that you might hear in the tone of their voice or what they're saying. Uh, that they sent that you're sensing the frustration from them. But uh, at the end of the day, one mess up or one time you don't do your job can feel, get them a place to build their confidence. So at the end of the day, I just made sure, and we just made sure as a defense, as a team, that we just stayed doing our job so they wouldn't have that one play that just built their confidence up and now they you know, got the momentum. JJ? Hey, Samuel, just kind of through five games that you played in, um, how do you feel like you've been taking advantage of this opportunity to to be a starter on defense for the Colts? Uh, I just I prepare, I prepare every day and uh, every week. Um, I just prepare like uh, I always had a saying when I got this from Fred Warner and Sam Fran that you know prepare like you're the best in the world every single day, every single every single second that you have with a day, and that's just how. I, the mentality of how I carry myself. I want to prepare like I'm the best in the world. So on Sundays that I can show I'm the best in the world. And uh, I just, you know, bring that to myself and have that mentality to myself and try to install that into the team. Uh, and, you know, guys already got that, but you know, you just got to stay consistent in this league. As soon as the, as soon as the time you don't stay consistent and you know, don't do your normal routine or don't do whatever that you usually do, that might be the week that you, don't have a good week, so just staying consistent through it all and just keeping that great mentality. 